people have been having a fat time in here. So this beast has seriously grown over the years. You know, you ain't fitting down there. It's been uh, 10 years since I've done this track. So I don't know, things have changed since then. Could be a hell of a lot worse, I'll tell you now. Now, just to keep in the back of our heads and sort of not to put any pressure on anyone, but on our way up here, we done a tyre. And I mean a full catastrophic failure of the tyre. It is destroyed. It's not put a couple of buttons in and keep driving. Now, I only got one spare. The thing about this truck is 46 inch tyres on a super single, they call them super single, and it's a full split rim with a run flat inside. Mate, that thing weighs probably 300 kilos. It's huge. I don't even have the space on the tray to put two spare tyres. I've got one spare. Now, I've got no spare. And we're just about to tackle one of Australia's toughest tracks without a spare tyre. Now it's going to be my problem, don't you? What's that? With. I've got a 12 tonne truck that is wider than the standard car by far. And so I'm driving down tracks that have been cut by standard four wheel drives. And so my tires spend most of their time on the edges. And I can see, I can see there's so many potential disasters on this track. Rocks, sticks, stakes, tree, log hanging down. It's just like, I'm gonna have to be so careful. So we head off down the telly track and we get to the first obstacle, which is a, a creek bed and it's quite dry. And it is one that scares a lot of people off. And a lot of people are tying a camper trail or whatever and they look at it and go, hell no, I'm not doing this. And they turn around and bail. You go down, down a bit of a section, tight turn, and the mog rolls in. She, you know, this is the first test. We roll in, cut a turn. So good. And she feel. Feels good. And then up the other side, click her into four wheel drive, click it into full diff locks. Old Moggy just rolls up out of the creek bed through this rutted section, articulated. I don't even think I broke traction. Oh, baby. Gotta love the mog. Now it's Simon's turn. Going in. I just know the length of this trailer is going to give me grief on this track. You've got a, a 79 Land Cruiser, which is six metres long and weighs four tonne, a seven and a half metre trailer weighing three tonne. So you've got seven tonne rolling down the track. I'm breathing. <laughs> Oh, there's some scratching going on up there. And this is the easy track through this crossing. <laughs> You're driving down a track that you would struggle with just driving a normal four-wheel drive without towing anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's as far as I'm getting. Sure enough. The track has lived up to its name on the first crossing exit. That's a little bit further. <laughs> I'll be able to winch from there, hopefully. So I had to get winched out of that one. There's, there's all these big holes and I've got three tonne hanging off my ass in that trailer, so there's no way I was getting up there. So I bring the winch out. Is there something to hook to or do you want to get the mog and hook to that? Yeah, I'll get the mog back. He hooks it onto the back of my truck, and I go, right, Simon, you ready? Because he's just stuck. He's spinning wheels, stuff's going on. There's no way he's getting up. Beam me up, Scotty. That's heavy, dude. That's heavy. That's hardcore. That's just nuts. Stop, 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 stop! What was all that about? All the rope was under my wheel. That's easy. It was all going on in my truck, mate. Was it? Oh, hell yeah. That's the first creek. <laughs> 
How many creeks are there? Heaps. When you spend a lot of time, like over the last, you know, 10 years or so, and you're travelling through the bush, a lot of the time you spend clearing the track. Now, when you get the chainsaw out and you can knock a few logs over, no problem. That's a big tree, mate. It's block one, two. There's a tight little track there, but it's blocked both tracks. It's only new, because that's only a new track. Now, normally we get the chainsaw out for that one. But this log is heaps rounder than, than the cutter bar on the chainsaw. So there's no way. We, we'll be sitting there for ages trying to cut it from both sides. Hence, 12 ton mog. Reckon the mog a shifter? Oh, we'll have a crack. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl, mate. We'll move out of the way. Because there's no way you're getting around there. No, I'm not fitting through those trees without a freaking going bush. Let's wrap the uh, winch rope around it and pull it out of the way. Let's do our bit for the track. So reverse the mog up. Send her out. Hook the winch rope around it. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be tough. I put in first gear, lock the four-wheel drive in, let the clutch out, and this thing just idles off and drags this log. I don't know, the log would have weighed, what, four ton of tree? Dragged it straight off the track. It's moving. It's under protest, but it's moving. No worry. I'll stop there. Whoop, whoop. 12 tonne of truck, mate. You gotta love it, don't you? Just <laughs> rip that out of the way. did it quite easy, actually. Nice. Oh, well, that'll clear the track. You'll be able to drive straight through now. Now, the beauty of this track is, as you start getting further and further along the track, the creeks start to get water in them and they get this nice crystal clear water that runs through this white sand. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's, it's sort of like a, an attraction the, to the track, you know? You can have a bit of a swim in the creek sometimes and it's got these little rocky creek beds you can cross and little entries and exits. Jeez, I don't want to take that track. Ah. There's all little tracks. Like, when this track's not working, they go to the next track. Another creek crossing. There's going to be a few of these on this track. That's what makes the track so gnarly. It's all the creek crossings. This exit looks interesting, mate. You got on that one? Yeah, I'm going to stay left. That thing's narrow as. Um, and there's heaps of tree roots in there. Copy that. I'm going to attempt it. Take a drag, any drag. So Jace goes left and Simon goes right to play to the strengths of their very different vehicles. Go, you good team. Just drive straight up it. While Jace can't take the narrow track, he can take the steeper one. Another thing about this truck is holding on to the steering wheel. Oh, mate, let's see how you go. I'm going to stay right here so I can see what's going on. All right. Simon, Simon, no way, mate, no way. Like, it was like a wedge. Really? Yeah, it was like a wedge, like jammed you in like a wedge. All right. No way you're getting through there. Peel the guard up, too. This requires a rethink. I think you're going to take that left hand track. I didn't see that track. Which one? Where you went or up this one? Yeah, this one's a lot easier for you. This offshoot of Jace's track is not too narrow and not too steep, but it is very uneven. Though Jace seems to think Simon's rig can snake through pretty easily. Except for that bit. It doesn't look easy at all. You sure you don't want to go up where you went? And just pull me up? That, that runs the risk of running the whole car down the side of that, like everyone else. That other track where you went is going to cause less oh, carnage. Yeah. All right, mate, go backwards. 
after this now. This is gonna be awesome. All good, all good, all good, all good. Can you come back, can you come back? Got a wheel stand like a little bugger right here. All good, buddy, all good, looking good. Just like that, that's what I expected. Yeah, you did that well. Steady, steady, steady. Oh, I'm even gonna make it. Look at that! There'll be no chance up there. Well done! Well done! I didn't think she'd make it up there, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, your truck, when she swung over in that first hole, she swung over and smacked the side of the bank a little bit, eh? Yeah, it went really easy on you, I was gonna do that. For a short while, the track evens out, but it's not long before they reach the next creek bed. How does she look down in there, mate? Not too bad. Nah, it's an easy one, mate. Going down. But Simon's just absolutely loving it because the 79, she's all articulated and wheels popping in the air. I don't think that guy's happy unless he's popping wheels in the air. And he was having a ball. Going up. No way. All good. The wheel popping going on, but all good. When I'm four wheel driving and my front end's waving around in the air and I've got my diff locks in and I'm still going forward, it's so good. It's an awesome feeling. For me, that's four wheel drive. Or maybe two wheel or three wheel. But I tell you what, I was having a good time in the old mob as well. It's like I wanted to test it to see how good these trucks are. Cool crossing, mate. It's like a big flat rock bed. And so far, this truck is just kicking the tracks ass. <laughs> it's kicking ass. But things are about to change. So if you're a four-wheel drive enthusiast and you like the cape, there's no doubt you know all about gunshot. Everybody who's anybody that knows about the telly track and about Cape York knows and heard of gunshot. If you look on the internet, there's so many videos of people and carnage on the old gunshot. I think they call it gunshot because the creek's called Gunshot Creek. I've even got a scar on my back from flipping one of my dirt bikes back in the late 90s up gunshot. It's an awesome little spot. This is the infamous gunshot. In the back of my mind, I've been building up the whole day to, to the gunshot crossing. Now, there's that many entries and exits into this creek and, they, and it changes all the time because every wet season comes through and other vehicles cutting it out. And, and the actual original drop into the creek is now a 10 metre vertical wall into a hole. Yeah, like I said, I've been here for like eight years and I rock up and now it's like, wow, which is the original gunshot? There is just... There'd be 10, I reckon. I didn't count them all, but it'd be getting up there. All vertical banks everywhere. People have been having a fat time in here. So this beast has seriously grown over the years. You know, you ain't fitting down there. We come up and we get a good look at what's going on. Before you go across any crossing, you've got to survey where you go. So I've parked the Mog up on top of the first major and original drop into the creek. You know, you'd almost, yeah, it'd be just like, yeah, we, that's, that's not an option. No. Not the entry for you. Hell no. So these drop-offs into this gunshot creek, normal four-wheel drives are cut them, so they're basically really narrow, the exact width of a car, all cut and washed out. So there's no way either of our vehicles are gonna fit down them real well. We'd just get wedged in there and that's where she'd stay. So there's no way that that mog is gonna squeeze down that gap. I've decided that way over to the right-hand side, there's this one last drop in, and it looks yeah, pretty clean. Yeah, it's a beauty right in front of you on the side there. But at the bottom is a pit of death. <laughs> There's a track basically straight in front of you around your ride, a little bit straight down there, I reckon you'll get down. I just need to be able to get down. Once I'm down in there, I can I'll be able to drive out. And I can turn, it's got some pretty good turns, circle the old mob. Hey, how deep's that mud down the bottom? Yeah, it's went up to my knee, but it's hard in the bottom. So I thought I'd wade in here and have a squeeze. You know, it's all good. All right, mate, I'm coming down. So we dropped the mog down, down one of the uh, big gunshot uh, cliffs, I suppose you'd call them. Seatbelt. Oh, he's gone the seatbelt. The seatbelt's gone on. Yeah, you're good. It all sort of splays out, so you'll be good. Left hand down a little bit. 
I've lined it up straight because I want to drop over square and I'll inch at a time. A little bit, inch, inch. Yeah, there you go. Nice fluid motion. And if it all turns goes pear shaped, you look like you're going to go end for end. Get on the gas. And then she starts to go over, and I'm expecting this whole thing just to slide down into it in a big rate of knots. And he had to put one tyre up on the side because, like I said, he wasn't fitting down through it. Right hand down a little bit, hug that bank. Are you scared? Can't talk now, I'm busy. <laughs> Mate, it's just eating it for breakfast. Well, she's railing the bank a bit there. The big tyres on the truck and the good brakes, he actually held it up all the way, all the way. You're in. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. I'm in four-wheel drive, and I'm in a mud pit, and it's deep, because Simon's walking in. It's up to his knee. Ooh, it was yuck. I'm glad I didn't put my truck in there. Need dip lock in the truck. There you go. Dip lock! <laughs> oh, no. It's deep, and it's slushy mud, but he reckons there's a hard bottom. Come on, baby! Come on! So, I'm driving and I'm not getting any sort of momentum. I'm not moving. And I'm, I'm turning the wheel to the left, trying to get some traction. I'm turning to the right to get some traction. And I'm not moving anywhere. I've just bung the diff locks in and she's found the bottom. Yeah! And this thing just starts churning the mud up and turning it, and you wouldn't believe it, but she just she just dug and dug and dug down, get traction. Well done, mate. Well done. And away she goes, and I just drive out of the mud pit. The old mog, mate. What a beast! Apparently, the water level or the mud level on my corner at the back of the tray was level with just under the back of it, mate. That's like chest deep of mud water. That, 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 that hole's a pit, the pit of death. Felt like it held the whole bank the whole way, and then the last little bit, it was some, felt like I was vertical. Yeah, that was good. So I'm in the creek. I'm through the worst of it. I've dropped in. I'm going to go and grab my truck and work my way in. I'll see you at the top. And now you just drive along the creek a little bit, and you cut across, and then you got what, what's called the, the exit point. And, you know, there's a little bit of a hole and a bit of articulation, and again, diff locks, crawl up out, and I'm out. I'm, I'm sweet. Oh, yeah. It's like the old Mog came home when she rocked up the gunshot, I reckon. Now it's Simon's go. Now remember, and I keep saying this, he's six metres long and he's towing a 7.5 metre long trailer. Introducing the new and improved home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of yeah. all wheel driving, woo, fishing, woo. touring, wood builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All for Adventure, Unleashed, and more original series from Jace and the team. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. You can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Now, with no lock-in contract. That's why Unleashed TV is the home of Australian adventure.